sights on. I like drone, twilight zone, fly like I'm stone. Yeah. They way gone, J way is known. Go hard, go home, get money long. My life up, flow like up, hoes like yup. I'm like fuck. Where's my phone? Fuck you. I'm good, bitch. Go on about your business. God bless you, toodles. No hard feelings. But you're not finna. You're not finna play me. For real. I'm doing too good to be getting played and be put into some fucking situation that my energy just ain't ready, motherfucking, for. Yo, yo, yo. What up, YouTube? Welcome to Sin Take, man. My name is Jay Sin. Coming back with another one, man. And I just wanted to tell y'all real fast, man. One of the. One of the one of the best things about this journey, right, is that when you move in, right, in a positive direction, like you have zero animosity towards anyone. You know what I mean? When you on a journey like this, bro, and everything is looking up, man, you don't care about no old beefs. You don't care about who hating. You don't care about shit that people done to you in the past. You don't care about none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? All of that stuff is just like irrelevant in your life. It becomes irrelevant, you know? And then it's like, yo, since you so like high energy, you don't want to do nothing that's going to take away from that. And that's what a lot of people don't realize when they hold on to these grudges, when they out here being petty, when they out here, you know what I'm saying, beefing and you know, like, still feel some type of way about some old shit, bro. Like, listen, dog, you use a lot of energy in that. You know what I mean? Because you become emotional. And anytime you become emotional, that takes away energy. You know what I'm saying? That does something to you, even to the point to where your blood boiling, it stress you out. You know, it give you, it causes confusion in the mind and all of that shit. And then you lose in focus and all that shit, bro. When you on a journey like this, bro, and you come from the darkness like listen dog you don't care about any of that old shit because everything is looking up for you you know what i mean you didn't change so much bro that you not investing any more time into bullshit like you used to because i was okay with investing time with bullshit i was okay with being petty you know what i mean you like utilizing and wasting energy on dumb shit you know what I mean? Just because I feel some type of way. Even in relationships, letting my girl get me emotional. You know what I mean? Letting other motherfuckers outside of the relationship get me emotional, bro. And it's like, yo, dog, all of that shit take away from me. All of that beefing that motherfuckers doing, it just take away from them because they losing focus. They losing energy. They losing time. They losing money when they do that shit. You know, and then it's like, yo, now they got to deal with the lesson of a hard head, make a soft ass. Because if you don't learn from it and you steady doing this shit, bro, there you go. You landing in jail. You know what I mean? All types of, you know, domestics and shit happening to you. It's like everything start crumbling down because you invest in time into negativity. You invest in time into beef. And it's like, yo, you like, it's like, yo, like you could go anywhere while on this journey. You could see people you have problems with you can see motherfuckers that you didn't fought you can see motherfuckers that didn't hate it on you you can see all of these motherfuckers and feel absolutely nothing you could feel absolutely nothing now that doesn't mean that your guard is down but guess what you don't feel any type of way towards these motherfuckers and that's the thing with people that 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 life ain't moving in a forward direction that that it's not full of positive or uh positive energy or, or they vibrating low, bro. I'm telling you, dog. When when they get around these people, they gonna get emotional instantly. They gonna feel some type of way instantly. They gonna wanna leave. They gonna wanna fight. They gonna wanna argue with their girl. They gonna wanna do all of this shit, bro. And that's what that shit do to you, bro. But when you on a journey like this and you didn't change so much, you didn't elevated so much, you didn't got so close to the most high. And man, listen, bro, you spiritually awakened, dog. You will not invest any time into bullshit. You will not let any demons infiltrate you because that's what you do when you get in that mode. You know what I'm saying? Them demons, you open yourself up and them demons come into you, bro. 
because they go in through them negative portals that you that you let open, bruh. And that's what you got to realize, too, is that we are all portals. We are portals. So guess what? When we feel some type of way, when we going through something, when the demons infiltrate, dog, they come in through those portals. Sexual energy, dude, when we sexual energy, bruh, our portals open up when we do that. Females, they portals open up through their vagina, bro. When we stick it inside of them, dog, listen, we enter and we both opening those portals and shit. And that's how those demons and that energy exchange happen, depending on the person that you hooking up with. Even through the eyes, bro, your eyes are windows to your soul. Those are portals. That's why you got to be careful what you watch. That's why we had to stop watching that porn and shit. That's why that shit was giving us low energy, bro. That's why that shit had us unmotivated, had us low on confidence, had us low on masculinity, had us low on testosterone, bro, because all of that shit was stealing away from us, bro. The, the, the portals was opening up and we was losing everything. And depending on who we was exchanging that shit with, bro, we was exchanging all our energy for they bad energy. Our demons was entering in them and they dark energy was entering into us, bro. That's why we had to get on a journey like this so we could be cautious. And man, listen, bro, understand that we value our energy, bro. Because when you value that shit, bro, listen, dog, everything changes in your life. So you not just going to be giving it up. You not just going to be letting people get you out of your body. You not going to just let people take away your focus that you work so hard to get. Don't y'all know, bro, this is what you got to understand. A lot of the times, man, we, we couldn't accomplish shit in our life because we lacked focus. We lacked discipline. We lacked confidence. We lacked energy. So now that we got that shit, bro, we not going to let no motherfucker steal that shit away. We don't give a fuck. We don't care if we in relationships. We don't care if we beefing. We don't care if it's enemies around, bro. Listen, we going to put our energy first. We going to take that into consideration before we react. And that's all you can ask for. I'm not saying that you going to make the right decision every time, bro. We human. None of us is perfect. We ain't going to be able to turn the other cheek every time, bro. But at least we know the consequences of our actions before we do it. At least we know that our energy is at risk. At least we know that, listen, bro, we, we see the bigger picture and we got bigger and better things going on in our life. So we're going to be able to think about that shit before we do. And you got to understand a lot of people don't think about that shit. You know, it's a lot of people that don't have nothing to, to, to consider. You know what I'm saying? And if they do, they don't even value it enough to put that into consideration before they actions, bro. Before they pull that trigger. Before they date that female. Before they put these women above them, bro. They don't think about what they built. They don't think about what they had to overcome. Over here, we think about all of that shit. So embrace that. Embrace the fact that we don't let shit get under our skin like that Because you will have motherfuckers around you like Damn, there goes such and such Trying to get you riled up Trying to get you off your square And then when you ain't even known that When you only could, when you could care less They want to try to look at you and, and try to talk shit to you like you a punk They want to try to talk shit to you Like you ain't know nothing Like bruh, and it's like yo These the motherfuckers that ain't got nothing to lose That's why you can't listen to them these the motherfuckers that ain't even put in a fraction of the work that you didn't put in to get in the position that you in right now. So you can't listen to them because you will have people around you that's trying to send you off. That's going to make you feel like, hey, like like something like they're going to they gonna blow everything up and then go try to make you feel some type of way. And then when they can't get under your skin and make you feel some type of way, now they mad like you didn't did something to them. You know what I'm saying? Don't get mad at me. Because I'm not going to let you steal away my energy Because I'm not going to let you get me riled up Because I have control over my emotions over here And that's what a lot of people don't have control over So when they see somebody like you, they're not going to understand you They're going to try to make it seem like you weird They're going to try to make it seem like you off They're going to try to make it seem like you a punk They're going to try to make it seem like you less than, bro But you can't listen to them you know what I'm saying? Because deep down inside, they wish that they had that type of control, but they don't. You know what I'm saying? That's why a lot of these mugs is out of shape. 
because they lacking in discipline. That's and they, and they can't they can't control anything. They can't control their eating habits. They can't control their emotions. They can't control their sexual energy. They can't control any of that. So they a hundred percent out of control. Addictions through the roof. But they want to tell you how to live your life. They want to tell you what to do with your energy. They want to tell you how you need to react in certain situations. Not even knowing like, bro, listen, dog, if you knew or if you saw what I see myself down, as down the line or the things, the position that I'm putting myself in, you wouldn't have a reaction either because all of that is small beans. But these motherfuckers don't know nothing about that. Everything is a big deal to them because things ain't looking up in their life. So guess what? They're going to create a lot of drama, a lot of unnecessary beef. A lot of negativity is going to be surrounded around them. A lot of demons will be feasting on their soul, feasting on their heart. Bro, and guess what, dog? You don't need to be around them either. You know what I'm saying? Because them, gem them demons going to be trying to jump from them to you. And then they going to be trying to manipulate you into reacting how they are and acting like they are and doing what they do and living how they live. Bro, you can't have it. You cannot have it, bro. You work too hard to get here. So guess what? Embrace this feeling that you have that nothing is in control of you but you. That nothing and nobody can get under your skin because when they do, bro, if you let these people out here, you let these demons out here, you let these motherfucking low energy motherfuckers out here, low vibrational mugs get under your skin, then guess what? You just gave them the key to your car. You just gave them the key to your energy, my nigga. So don't do that, all right? Embrace this shit, man. It feel good to not be controlled out here, man. Tell yourself, it feel good to not be controlled. These women can't control us. Pornography, uh, pornography can't control us. These drugs can't control us. Alcohol can't control us. The government can't control us. Nobody can control us, all right? So embrace that shit and move forward, all right? And that's my word, man. My name is JC and Sante. I'll let y'all later, man. Peace. Hustle hard, yeah, that's all day. All day. I'ma keep putting in work, yeah, that's all day. Uh, I'm in here to do my job, yeah, that's all day. That's all day. What I do all ain't day. a facade, this is all J. Hustle hard, yeah, that's all day. I'ma keep putting in work, yeah, that's all day. I'm in here to